Well, hello everyone, I'm back. This is your nurse advocate, Deidre Kindred. And as promised, I may forgive me because I may be looking down at my paperwork here. As promised, we're gonna talk about building your healthcare journal. And when I say journal, I really mean binder. I like to call it my medical journey. So for all my clients, it is your medical journey. So what I have here is a binder. It's a little bit smaller than I recommend, but this is a sample binder. So in this binder will be your medical journal, meaning that any and everything about you will be in this journal so you can take it to each and every doctor's visit with you. So we can review later on the three questions to ask your doctor, how to take notation of that, creating plan of cares. But let's go back to the basics of building a journal. I believe it starts off with a meeting. So Trisha Torrey, Every Patient's Advocate, has written great articles on building a personal health journal. So in here, what I did is I formulated um, a medical records. So this would be your opening page. You can put your name, your information on here, anything that you want. But each divider has a certain section. So what I like to do is have your personal info in here, a binder for a uh, divider for that, a primary care binder, because sometimes the primary care physician is the last to know anything that went on with you, your health binder, divider, procedures, medications, immunizations, so you can keep up with that, keep track of that, very important. Family history. As we said before, there are two kinds of medical records, according to Trisha Torrey. It is your personal history and then your family history. You do not have to put their names in here, but having a record of whether it was your mother or father or sister or brother who had diabetes or hypertension or unfortunately was diagnosed with cancer is key to being able to guide your medical care. Images and labs. So keeping up with your lab values is extremely important. Dental, vision, insurance, and the list goes on. I could talk about this all day, so that's why I decided to split up these conversations. So it is extremely, extremely to, important to, first of all, get a binder, maybe a one inch or a two inch binder, depending on your medical history, and start with the dividers, okay? So... If you need more information, I can be contacted at 817-854-3240. You can schedule an individualized 30-minute free consultation, or you can visit my website at www.yournurseadvocates.com. I'm Deidre Kindred. I'm your nurse advocate. I love educating, advocating, and helping you navigate the ever-changing complicated healthcare system. Have a wonderful Tuesday.